Hey, this is Miss Hollywood, and right now I'm here in Sheboygan at Speakeasy, thanks to Mr. Juni, <laughs> the metal master of Sheboygan over here. And right now I am with the number one Pantera band, Cemetery Gates. Yeah. So you, go. you guys want to introduce yourself? We have Mr. Hi, Rick. Mr. Rick. Scotty McClellan, man. What's up? I'm Nate. And then the invisible. Buddy. Buddy Jackson. <laughs> The non-present drummer. So tell me, where are you guys out of? Where are you guys based out of? Central Illinois, Peoria, Illinois, per se, I guess. Yes. Way south. Central Illinois, man. We've been, you know, hammering down that area, in St. Louis, regional. You know, doing it for, since '96, uh, playing Pantera, and uh, we're very proud of it. We respect it, and we have a good time with it. Now, I kind of know a little bit, but I kind of want to inform everybody else. Why was your band called Cemetery Gates? Why did you pick that song off of Cowboys from Hell? I'll give that for you. Um, we had played, actually, when we started the band, we played under the name of Warner. Uh, we had a show booked for New Year's back in Peoria when I was living in Chicago. And my wife was pregnant at the time and came back and played the show and was given a dead baby to me by the hospital after they told me everything was fine when we went in. Uh, I was asked to leave the hospital for various reasons. So I went and did the show with my brothers and stuff. My wife suggested I do it to blow off a little steam and uh, we pretty much went with that name after that point in time. Just to yeah. come oh, right. to my daughter. That's beautiful. Is there any song that, um, when you're up there, that makes you feel so close to... I mean, today was Dime Fest, obviously. Did, is there any song today that you felt channeled straight to Dime, that you felt its presence, maybe? Now, when I sing Hollow, I always think of Dime. I don't, there's just something about the song. So Hollow always brings it home for me, usually. And then, of course, we always dedicate Cemetery Gates to my daughter and parents. Tower-wise, when I think of Dime... Um, when I'm sitting there playing and stuff, I like what I'm doing. Uh, more of stuff like, you know, where you come from. Um, you know, I like his blues ear lakes when he's like, you know, playing with feel. It's hard. You know, Revolution's a badass. Uh, I like anything that he uh, takes with his heart. You know, and when he's playing like a... Uh, I, I'm just trying to sit there and think of a great song for and, uh, you know, the one I can honestly think of from my heart is, uh, you sit there and, uh, you know, anything, Mouth for War, I mean, that's like, you know, down to the, you know, the back end, where he came from, you know, it's like, vulgar display, bam, and far beyond driven, anything off that, I'm happy. I think, I think for me, Cemetery Gates, Cemetery Gates is the... Yeah, it, it, it just for whatever reason it just every time we play that that's one I really look up and it just feels like it's closer to dime you know? I don't know if it's just the solo in it or just the way it is but Cemetery Gates has always been my dime song now have any of you guys actually worked with any of Pantera any of the boys at all I've yeah. got got to meet them quite a few times if my wife was employed at Big Al's world's famous Big Al's in Peoria so of course after every show they played in Peoria so, unfortunately, the only one I've never met is Phil. Phil, I love you. Love to meet you sometime. I've I met Vinny. Um, you know, pretty much it. Vinny's the only guy I've met. Uh, unfortunately, Dime got cashed out before his time. Uh, I wish I could have met him because him and I could have compared many notes and uh, had great ideas. I would have loved to have jammed with him once. Um, but other than that. You know, I met Rita Haney. Um, she's a sweetheart. Um, thanks to her, I'm endorsed by Dumb Mom. Cool. Uh, she bought me a really nice shot, and uh, we hung out. Nice girl. <laughs> All the way around. Love her to death. And what's a guitar that you're using currently right now? How many? You're using the signature tonight. Which one did you use? The signature oh, dime? I got the Cemetery Dean. Gates dime guitar. Yeah, yeah there's faces shining guitar, through, yeah. and then I got uh, I got the diamond plate uh, 10K commemorative, 
which is very rare, only 200 made, and uh, I'm very lucky to have that. I'm endorsed by, you know, Dean Guitars. I was lucky to have that one given to me. Uh, I was blessed for that, and uh, doing what we do, it helped out, you know, and uh, I feel it was a pleasure to have it. And then you have the X-Ray one, right? What's the X-Ray is new. Yeah. Um, yes, that's uh, that's kind of a monster. You know, it's yeah. different. Like nice graphics. Love Dean guitars. They they shred. Thanks to Dime, he got me right back into them. So out of the whole trip to Wisconsin, was there anything anything on the way here that you had to stop? Is there like a food place out here that you stopped to eat at? Ah. Is there random? Is that yeah. have you had the cheese curds yet? We had some cheese curds earlier today, but he did. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. We'll be stopping at the Harley Museum on the way home, of course. Wow. You gotta do that when you're <laughs> Beautiful around. state. Oh, it's Wisconsin's a great state. It's, really cool. it's just pretty all the way to drive. That's just nice. We played up there. You tip any times. cows on your way over here? Nah. No cow tipping? We played up around the Madison area and stuff a few times too, <laughs> yeah. so it's not our first trip up here. But and this definitely. is your only, your first dime fest, or is, do you guys do this like. We've Bless done many done fest. different, yeah, di- a lot of different things. You know, the year that Dime was tragically taken from us, we did two benefits. One was in Madison, actually. The we did, yeah. right? And uh, I think we did another one in St. Louis. Yeah. Out here. Pops in uh, St. Louis is a very nice thing. It's probably the only time I really considered to quit doing the tribute because we, we actually became a Pantera tribute in 1997. Yeah, right. So we've already been doing the tribute for quite some time when that happened. And a lot of the bigger venues like Pops in St. Louis, which they have nationals, they would book Super Joint, Damage Plan, and shove us in the middle, and kind of like they could advertise that whole week as kind of a Pantera based week. Wow. And so uh, we actually had a show there the weekend that he passed. So we thought about maybe that might have been a good time for us to not do it, but we received so many emails and stuff from people saying that we needed to keep their music alive. That, here we are, eight years later. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's cheers, guys. Cheers, guys. I, I appreciate it. Up, man. And, and where else? Where else can we? Are you guys in different separate bands, and then just form this band on the side, or is there a way we can find you on We're Facebook? All or different. yeah, Facebook Cemetery Gates. Facebook uh, Cemetery I mean, Gates. website CemeteryGates.com. I'm in like We're rebuilding some other things. So it's like, <laughs> we got some original music out there under the name Brotherhood of Spine, which is. Maybe not so similar, well, a little bit similar to fans here, a little bit similar to Down, too. Also, big okay. Down fans. Phil, love you. <laughs> <laughs> well, right thank on. you guys so much, and, and thank you for playing the 8th annual Dime Fest. I rock, you rock, and together we rock. Yes. <gasps>